the bus stop. Meanwhile, a van arrives, and they take a seat inside. They are taken to a home by the man who came to pick them up. They were brought here by an undercover agent, and they were shown cyber specialists. While sitting in the car, the agent phones his major and takes one of the men with him. He informs him that his crew is in a safe location and that one of the members is still with me. They are working on an army covert mission, according to the circumstances described in the film. The picture shifts to a village, where a couple is displayed, followed by a group of tourists. They arrive to the forest to have fun, but when their car breaks down, they must return to the adjacent hamlet. In the village, the agent is seen, who was first seen at the beginning of the film. Jance, a team member, has been brought in by the agent. A device is placed in the forest near the village by the man. He returns to his base with the agent after setting it up. There were also his other associates. Later in the film, a plane is seen flying upside that forest, which is depicted again throughout the film. When the plane's gate opens, four robots leap into the jungle. The cyber specialists were attempting to control the robots as they jumped. Shortly after jumping, a team member alerts her teammates that one of their robots has been damaged. Its destruction boot will activate if we do not control it. The fear is that it might spread destruction there as well. We will be imprisoned if this mission fails, Jance warns the agent. The picture switches back to the village where the travelers were last seen. The arrival of the tourists displeased some of the natives. They were about to put an end to the visitors when the couple from the beginning of the film intervened and saved them, transporting them to their home. Actually, the tourists wished to leave the forest in a safe manner. There was a rural child summoned. The village paths were familiar to him. On the other hand, Leap is depicted in the forest, with three robots entering the village from the forest. In the forest, Leap notices a robot approaching him. It was broken, but when Leap picks up something close to it, it begins to move. Leap returns to the settlement, carrying the items he took from the robot. When he arrives in the village, armed villagers ask him to move the visitors to the other side of the forest. In the meantime, the robots are seen in the town, scanning people and tallying the number of individuals in the community. They were the ones with guns, and the Major was looking at the data on his computer screen. As a result of this, the Major realizes that this community has some tourists. While discovering them, they witness the scheme being thwarted. He decides to kill everyone, and the robots have been given the order to do it. They begin shooting victims as directed by the command. Everyone becomes frightened and afraid, and they begin to flee. A tourist suggests that they return to their car. Her partner informs her that the robots are firing from all directions. If we go, we'll be killed by the robots, who were slaughtering everyone. Even children were not spared, a tourist was about to leave the house in order to save everyone. The other tourists stop him because if he goes out, he would be killed. They were terminating anyone going inside the houses after terminating everyone in the community. On the Major's command, everyone was terminated. The Major tells his staff to direct the robots to terminate all tourists. Because if any trust is lost, the forest can file a complaint against them. They can be ended in the same way, but the girl among them prohibits it. As their captain stated, they have ordered the robot to kill everyone. A villager fired a shot at the robot, but it had no effect on it. Even the robot begins to pursue him. Meanwhile, guns are fired at the robot from a house, and the robot's attention is drawn to the house. The robot enters the house and kills all of the residents. The robots are shown in the forest, and this is the scenario from the beginning of the film, in which a girl is racing through the woodland and is pursued by a robot. Medical students are displayed to the tourists, and they come here to do research. The girl in the control room was introducing herself to her friends as a medical student. We should not put an end to them. This is something that the agent standing behind them bans them from doing. The scene of the village where some people were fleeing the robots is presented. He finishes the last one standing. They are startled for a moment when they see it. They have taken refuge in the woods. While the robot was ready to touch the human, one of them noticed a bomb on the surface. The bomb is thrown at the robot by the man. Even after the explosion, the girl told her pals that they needed to stop. 
We won't be able to close the assignment until the villagers and visitors have died, according to the agent. In the wilderness, two robots are seen fighting one other. Their link to the base is disrupted as a result of the struggle. The cyber specialists are given orders by the major to transmit the robots' data to their computers. As a result, if the robots are terminated, their data will remain secure. The girl from the cyber specialist group was in a terrible mood when she emerged from her room. She was ready to phone the cops and tell them everything when the agent arrived, and the girl dashed over to meet him. However, the agent captures her and stabs her in the stomach with a knife. He enters and instructs the other two to begin packing. He was explaining why we had to relocate because this location was no longer secure. They inquire about their third buddy with the agent. She informs them that she has already left. As they move away, the place explodes. The wooded scene is shown once more. While hiding from the robots, the villagers attempted to flee. They are attacked by the robot when it comes. The cyber specialists, on the other hand, are seen in a new location. After completing their setup, they realize that a robot had previously been terminated. Their second robot's battery was also depleted at this point. To recharge its battery, the agent must travel to the forest. The agent threatens them that if they leave here before I come, their entire family will be destroyed. After arriving in the jungle, the agent is seen repairing the robot's battery. A girl is killed by the robots when the locals were fleeing from them. As a result, they get despondent. One of the lads asks Leap to accompany the people to a safe location. Those robots will be diverted. While doing so, they merge with their other companions. They were unlucky since they were seen by another robot. Before the robot leaves the people, another robot arrives, this one with a flaw because it leapt at the start. It was acting in the opposite direction of its order due to the default. It means that if it receives the command to exterminate humanity, it was actually saving mankind. It was now coming to an end with its companion robot. Humans were being eliminated by a robot. Because this robot is tasked with rescuing mankind. Now that the two robots have been terminated and the robot is attempting to save people, the final robot begins combat with this robot. They lost contact with the base during the battle, and the Major requested that the cyber specialists make contact with the robots. This was not possible, and the agent discovered them in the forest. While shooting their legs, he injures two of them. They aim the bomb they discovered near the robot at the agent. The agent is injured as a result, but he recovers quickly. He moves closer to the robots. With the use of his rifle, he turns them off while approaching them. A robot reminds him that human life is more important than robot life as he is shutting down. It caused a big explosion, and the Major realized that everything he sent, including the humans and robots, had been completed there. Where the cyber specialists were, the Major